Christmas. And today I'm going to give you a personal lesson on the dinosaur bones that I use in presentations. The first fossil that I use in some of my presentations is this Camarasaurus femur bone. This is the Camarasaurus. Camarasaurus means chamber lizard because of the air chambers in its bones. That'll make it weigh a little bit less or reduce its weight. Camarasaurus weighs 20 tons and lived in the late Jurassic time period. Camarasaurus had blunt, spoon-like teeth that he would use to strip plants off of le strip the leaves off of plants. And Camarasaurus was a herbivore dinosaur, and he had a very long neck and tail like some of the other sauropod dinosaurs but his snout was a little bit shorter than most of the other sauropod dinosaurs like this one. See, his snout is a little bit longer. <laughs> Camarasaurus' leg bone was very heavy. Camarasaurus weighed 20 tons. That's a lot of pounds. That's 40,000 pounds. This is the Stegosaurus. It lived with the Camarasaurus. Stegosaurus means plated lizard because of the plates on its back. And it was 30 feet long and lived in the late Jurassic time period. These were the Stegosaurus's plates. And in Stegosaurus's plates that were on its back, there were blood vessels that were used to control the dinosaur's temperature. There were 17 of these plates on the Stegosaurus's back. Another cool thing that Stegosaurus had were spikes. Stegosaurus Denops had four of these spikes, but Stegosaurus Ungulatus had eight of these spikes. These spikes were used for defense whenever it was fighting other dinosaurs. So whenever there's an Allosaurus or any of those other Jurassic predators around, Stegosaurus could use these spikes really good to defend itself. This is the picture of the Stegosaurus. And as you can see, this is a Stegosaurus stenops. That means it has four spikes on the end of its tail. And it also had the 17 bony plates on its back. Stegosaurus had cheek teeth. And Stegosaurus ate plants. And it had the cheek teeth for crushing those plants. While we're talking about Jurassic dinosaurs, here's another cool one. It is Othnelia. Othnelia was named after Charles Othniel Marsh, but was not named by him. It was four foot long, weighed 50 pounds, which is almost as much as I do, but just a little less, and lived in the late Jurassic time period. Othnelia had self-sharpening teeth in the front of its mouth, and you'd think it was a carnivore. But actually, it's a herbivore because of the flat teeth in the back of its mouth. Othnelia was a small dinosaur, and it was really fast so it could run away from predators like Allosaurus. This is the Tyrannosaurus rex jawbone. Tyrannosaurus rex means tyrant lizard king, but it really wasn't the king of the dinosaurs. There are some larger meat-eating dinosaurs like the Giganotosaurus. And the Tyrannosaurus rex was known for its small arms and also for being one of the biggest theropod dinosaurs, some of the meat-eating dinosaurs. This is the Tyrannosaurus rex's claw on its hand. Even though the claw's pretty big, the arm wasn't any bigger than about the size of my arm. This is the Tyrannosaurus's tooth. And a lot of people know that the Tyrannosaurus's tooth was 14 inches long or the size of a banana. 
Can you imagine having a tooth that big? Tyrannosaurus Rex could buy 500 pounds of meat and bones in one bite. And that's how hard this tooth could eat. And some people think that this tooth was used for it going through meat, but it could actually crush bone. And even though it wasn't sharp, it could go through meat too. Now that I'm doing my dinosaur bones, now I'm going to tell you about some of my prehistoric sea fossils. This is the megalodon tooth. Megalodon was an ancient shark. Megalodon's tooth was about the size of my hand. It was 40 feet long, as long as T-Rex or a school bus, and lived from the late Oligocene to the early Pleistocene. That's the time of the Ice Age. Here's the cool fact about Megalodon. It had the strongest bite force of any living thing on Earth ever. And Megalodon's tooth could get even bigger than this. This is one of the regular sized teeth. They get a lot bigger. And its head is about that big around. It is huge. Now I'm going to show you a clip of a dig in West Alabama. I think if the cows had not been stepping on this for the last 10 years, she'd be in much better shape. That's cute. Uh oh. Oh, let's see that. Have that's we got everybody? Probably not. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, you know what? That's not. That's the back of the skull. That's the, that's the top right back corner of the skull, right back up there at the very back of the skull. <laughs> Cool. What are lots of pieces of that? Lots and lots. Yeah, I think so. Some of these I'm on to the bone because the trees like them for a source of phosphorus, which is fertilizer for plants. I dug up a turtle one time, and the turtle shell was completely surrounded by a mat of cedar tree roots. They were going after the phosphorus that was in the fossil bone because it's it's a uh, plant fertilizer. Can you hear this? That's dirt. Hear the difference in sound? That's bones. That's how you can tell what's bone. It's all covered. There's bone there, and there, and it's not in there. I just want to get out just enough to get it and cover it back up. Oop, there's another piece. I think there's little pieces of chalk that I just flipped out of the way. That's a big bone. I think that's a vertebra. Yep. No? no? Maybe not. See it right there? You wonder who that was? That was me last week with Dr. James Lamb in the Chalk Gullies of West Alabama. We were digging and we found the Mosasaur. Mosasaur is sort of like the Loch Ness Monster. It was a sea monster from the time of the dinosaurs. And while we were digging, we found the Exogyra. Exogyra was an ancient oyster shell that's extinct now. And it was a really big shell. And it was in the seas from the Jurassic to the Cretaceous time period. So you probably won't see this kind of shell at the beach whenever you go. Good luck finding this. That's all for today's show. But for you young paleontologists, go out and find some dinosaur bones. Stegosaurus.
horse means plated lizard, and these are the plates on its back. This is y'all plate. This is a spike. This is a. <laughs> I messed up again. This is the stegosaurus.